Hello, this is Brad Wood, and today I wanted to do a quick demonstration for you of some of the new functionality in Command Box version 3.1 to be able to start servers in um, all sorts of CF engines, including Adobe and Rilo and the new Lucy 5, which is in release candidate. I'm sharing my whole screen today so you can see the system tray down by my clock. Uh, you'll be able to see the icon start up there as we start the servers. I have a Command Box window open here. I'm in a folder called server test, which I've populated with just a simple Colbox application from the Colbox create app command. Now, if you've used command box, you're familiar with the start or server start command. This still works like it always used to, which is it starts up a Lucy 4.5 server, which is the same engine that the command box CLI runs on. That start command has opened up this browser tab right here. Um, this does not download anything. It's all embedded in command box and you can use that already today. So you see I have a little icon here that's popped up near my clock. Uh, it shows that I have server test running Lucy 4.5. Right clicking it also gives me some options to open up the administrator for the server as well as some other things. So let's start up a Lucy 5.0 server if you want to play with the new release candidate. What we do is we use the regular start command and we use the new CF engine parameter. Let's set this to Lucy at 5 and since this is a snapshot release I'll need to put the pre-release identifier so we can match it. If you haven't started a server already it will download off of ForgeBox all the files that you need depending on your internet speed it might just take a couple minutes. I've already started a Lucy 5 server so I don't need to download anything and you can see in just a few seconds now we have a second tab that's open and a second icon down here by my clock running Lucy 5 and if we open up the server administrator you can see here that this is our Lucy 5 administrator. Has a nice little Swiss Alps in the background. That way we can all be jealous of where Misha lives. Okay, let's start up an Adobe Cold Fusion server. Again, with a start command. This time we'll just do CF engine equals Adobe. Since 2016 is the latest stable version of Adobe Cold Fusion, that's what it's going to uh, install by default. Again, I've already started this before, so we'll be skipping the download. And in a few seconds here, we see a third icon has now popped up near my system tray, which goes for this new server. I have three servers running simultaneously, all in the same code. And here's our site running in Adobe Cold Fusion 2016. Let's find the right icon here. There we go. Uh, when you right click, we only have one administrator option because there's no difference between server and web administrators in Adobe. And here's our administrator for Adobe Cold Fusion 2016. We also support um, other versions of Adobe Cold Fusion. We have versions 9, 10, 11, and 2016. So just for an example, we can start up um, Adobe Cold Fusion version 11. So I'll add an at 11, and that's the same syntax you can now use when installing packages from ForgeBox. You have that ampersand and then a version number at the end. So that's going to match um, the latest version that starts with 11. Now we have four servers running. Here's the ColdBox sample site running on um, Cold Fusion 11. And of course, we can open up the administrator to prove that this is really Cold Fusion 11. I know it doesn't look any different from the sample app, but it's really uh, different engines. And so finally, this last one, we also have Rilo version 4.2. And I'm going to do a full um, download and install just so you can see it, since I'm cheating a tiny bit um, having these other engines previously installed. So if I do start CF engine equals Rilo, you'll see the full experience that you'll see the first time you do this, um, which is a download of a WAR file. In this instance, it's only about 60 megabytes, getting good download speeds on my gigabit internet connection. Uh, it's going to do some unzipping, and then really still only about 10 seconds worth of, uh, of downloading and, and unzipping. We should see the browser window open up here momentarily. It takes a few more seconds on your very first download, just because there's some, some unpacking that the engines need to do the first time around. There we go. I just saw our, our uh, icon show up down here near my clock. And she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. There she is. Coldbox site running on Rilo. So if you still have some old sites you want to be able to test on Rilo, we also support that. And of course, here we go. There's the right click options. We have access to the usual web and server um, administrators. So this is super powerful. As you can see now, I have one, two, three, four. I have five servers running on my, on my computer, all pointing at the exact same web route and running five different versions of CFML engines. So this is great for testing to bring these up side by side and to stop them 
I can stop the last one I started with just a regular old stop command, if I can type it correctly. There we go, just stop the Rilo one. Or I can just simply right click on these down by my system tray and I can just choose stop, 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 stop. That's it, they're all shut down. So this is a very cool and new feature of Command Box 3.1. You can start up any of these servers super quickly, stop them. Um, it's great for testing, great for trying out some code, and I hope you enjoy. Have a great day.